So there are some problems within a hiking system that one can't address, but one can mitigate the human impact as much as possible on the flora and fauna along the trail. So while you may not get a clean, pristine, well-defined trail from end to end, that's only half of the problem, only half of the effort. Trail maintenance and repair involves considering not just the hikers and not just medical call-outs and other problems that you need to address by removing safety hazards. A lot of the trail work that needs to be done has to consider the impact that humans and your trail work have on the flora and fauna even beyond any environmental impact report and study that you may have. <clears throat> so I'm at a section right now that needs some trail work. Let me show you what needs to be done here. This is part of the water safety and I don't know what you want to call it. This is part of getting the hikers out of the wet and improve the health of the canyon generally. Let me show you what we've got here. We have much of the water drainage at this point in the trail that goes underground. Seasonally it comes above ground. However, it goes to ground at this point. It starts to seep. It comes out of the ground at this point. Now this puddle here has frogs and other creatures that you can hear when you're not standing here making noise looking at them. The hiking trail is up there. At this point in the trail, the trail ducks down about four feet and comes fairly close to the wet drainage here. The trail then goes back up and it crosses a moist area where the trail continues on up there on the left and the water seepage is on the right. And the water is above ground a little bit here. That's not so much a problem. This little section of wet along the trail. There's not much we can do anything about. However, to keep hikers from intruding upon this breeding ground here, we need to chip away at this shoulder of rock and dirt here so that we can widen this trail, make it flat, and hikers are not stumbling or deliberately stepping down into this wet drainage. So this is the task for today, is to chip out this shoulder, widen things. And then we'll take a look further on, to see what else needs to be done. I believe that this is the last section for our wetland health effort. Here's that rocky shoulder after it has been picked apart. The tread starts up there and you'll notice that rather than dropping down about four feet into the wet drainage, removing that rocky shoulder and using much of the material to provide tread, we're about a foot and a half, two feet, and the drainage is isolated from the hiking trail. Rather than dipping down and climbing back up to the degree that the trail used to, now we dip down two feet, come back up a foot, foot and a half, and slowly start to climb up the canyon.
rather than have a discontinuous trail dip down into the drainage and climb back up now it's a much more smoother hike and it keeps people out of the drainage let me show you what the hike looks like from the hiker's perspective this section we had widened about two weeks ago this is the rocky shoulder that we just removed rather than a narrow six inch eight inch hiking tread and rather than dip down into the drainage here we have a nicer access to the trail here now we do cross some wet here but that can't be helped at this point we have a six foot steep incline out of the drainage and we kind of stay out of the wet for the rest of the trail all the way to the end at this point trail definition from this point on is pretty good but that's for another day I think we're done for the day. Here's what the bench looks like from the far end. It's a pretty good improvement for about two hours. Some places along the trail we don't have much choice but to have the trail go through the riparian drainage. Here we have a lot of water underground and seasonally above ground. Now water is coming down basically across this entire section here. The trail goes through here. Unfortunately we are walking through the wet creek and we walk through these trees and then the trail continues above ground obviously <laughs> above ground while the water comes down here. So there's this section here that we can't do anything about. So since we can't take hikers off of the water, the trail definition we leave somewhat vague. Though we don't want it so vague that hikers walk the entire width. What we want to do is concentrate hikers along a specific section so that they're only crushing insects and other creatures in a narrow area rather than across the entire width.